Hello everyone. Welcome to DevOps Lover YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are talking about the DevOps and which tools we should we need to be learn in the DevOps related journey. So my name is Mahesh and uh, I'm having like nine plus year of experience in the DevOps. So with this YouTube, I have tried to upload multiple videos content on the this particular YouTube channel and it can be with the multiple tools like Jenkins, Kubernetes, Docker, Linux, and uh, DevSecOps as well, like Vault or other tools, Anchor or the dependency track. So uh, I'm having like keen interest in the DevOps uh, area, and that's why I means I'm making these particular videos and trying to upload more content on the uh, YouTube. Uh, so there is. Uh, with some recent videos, I talk about like the Kubernetes or the Jenkins related video tutorials. And on the way, every weekend, uh, now I'm going to upload the new videos on the specific topic or discuss about uh, the DevOps related uh, technologies. So uh, before means uh, 2015 or 2014, when I have started this journey, like there was like, uh, multiple things are uh, not come in the DevOps related technologies or multiple things are with the manual way or the script based automations where we are using for the deployment. But uh, with the recent technologies like Docker, then uh, I have seen like Docker Swarm or the Kubernetes. So these particular tools are solving these particular challenges. Also, uh, if you are preparing the DevOps related profile or it's not necessary like every time you need to be learn or the focus on the DevOps tools only. So if you are having the software engineer background or the IT engineer background or support engineer background, still you can uh, learn the DevOps tools. So that will improve your confidence uh, while working with these particular tools. Also, uh, there are multiple positions or the uh, jobs are available in this particular area like DevOps or cloud. So cloud is also the interesting area where we can learn about the uh, GCP or the AWS or Azure. So we have tried to upload more, multiple videos on these particular topics as well previously. So uh, it, with the beginning, let's start with the Linux, I would suggest. So if you are trying to learn the DevOps, so you should not having the background with only like computer or the IT related background. So anyone can learn the DevOps and the benefits wise, like the jobs is uh, uh, the top most benefit or the high paying uh, jobs is something the benefit in the de learning DevOps. Also, if you are having the uh, software engineer background, like the IT support or the developer or tester, still you can learn the DevOps. So because nowadays, like if you are working with the backend technology, still interviewer can ask the questions on the build and deployment process, how you are handling the deployment or does your application is containerized or not. So all these things are there. And that's why still, if uh, you are the engineer, uh, you can learn the DevOps related technologies. So that is uh, it's one of the advantage. So uh, in case you are preparing for the DevOps related profile, so I would suggest let's start with the Linux. Then you can have the operating system installations related steps with you, try to install that. Or you can also have the knowledge about how to install operating system how uh, you can learn the Linux related command. What are the top 50 commands of the Linux? So let's try to do these particular assignments or the problem solving for those, those particular areas. Then once you're done with the Linux, let's jump on the Docker. So Docker is also very important thing in the DevOps infrastructure. So Docker is giving the virtual container related platform and you can create any 
particular Docker image as per your requirement. Like if your application is Java application, it requires Ubuntu operating system, it requires Java installation, it requires Maven installation. All these things you can package by using the Docker file, create that particular Docker file and push it into the Docker repository. So you can also have the custom Docker repository with your setup. So Docker is providing all these capabilities. So once you have the basic confidence with the Linux, let's try to learn the Docker. And in Docker also, you can do the various assignments or various problem solving uh, with the Docker. So let's have that installation, try to build Docker, then try to run the Docker images as well. Do with basic commands of the Docker, correct? Once you're done with that, you can also build the particular application, correct? That can be with the any language like npm or the angular or the java so you can create that particular application understand the build process and automate that by using the docker so for that application you can do build without that particular application first and then go with the docker correct so that step you can follow to understand how that application built its work then you can start deploying that particular application. So initially you can, you can understand that by using Docker or without Docker, get that particular knowledge with you and then try to automate that. So that is the actual day of work, correct? So you need to be automate those things. You need to be uh, integrate the multiple tools for that to automating this particular stuff. That is the actual work of the day ops. So many students ask me or many uh, people ask me which are in my contact like uh, about the DevOps related things or uh, what is the day-to-day -day task of the DevOps India. So I will always uh, uh, answer them like DevOps is not uh, is something like the particular operating system or particular language. So it's not having like fixed set of work on day-to-day -day basis. But that is something like you need to be automate this build and deployment stuff. So where you can integrate multiple tools and that can be like Jenkins, Docker, Linux or Ansible or the Kubernetes or Terraform. So all these integrations related things are happening in the DevOps. And uh, in some cases, you need to be create new automation. In some cases, you need to be provide the support for the existing automation. You need to check the logs, understand the build failure and fix that. So that is the actual work of the DevOps engineer. So uh, DevOps engineer should have all this idea about the build and deployment process. Also, they should be able to automate these particular things that is part of the DevOps. And in day-to-day -day activities, they need to be deal with the uh, multiple issues, correct? So in coding related issues, you might get some uh, documentation or these are the particular steps to solve this particular coding issue like loops or the switch cases. But in DevOps, that's never happening, correct? So you need to fight on the issues and then with the troubleshooting multiple times uh, or trialing and error basis thing, that issues will be solved. So that is the unique uh, thing in the DevOps. So issue might take the long, long time or it might be solved in the less time, correct? Depending on the scenario. So let's understand all these things when you are uh, dealing with the DevOps related problems or the learning, uh, you are in the basic or the pre-learning phase. So as I have mentioned, like you can learn the Linux, then learn the Docker, and third thing is try to understand build and deployment process that you can start with the Java application, then NPM application, then Go application or the PHP or Python related application. So whatever the requirement you have or the whatever the use cases you are working with your organization or with your skill set, identify those areas of the application and then understand like how you can automate it. Can you use the Docker there? Can you containerize that particular application? And once that is done, try to build that or try to try to implement that. So I have initially like I have uploaded all these videos with like 150 plus sessions in various technologies in last two, three years. You can go through with this, my previous videos and learn about this way of journey. Uh, so this all these things I have uploaded based on my experience and 
the journey so far I learned in the various tools or integrations or the problem solving, correct? So those particular scenarios I have covered in those particular sessions. So try to learn uh, the things in those areas. Also, once uh, you build with that Docker container, then you can integrate that with the GitHub or that you can integrate with the uh, GitHub Action or uh, other tools like Bitbucket or other things, which is there for the source code management. Uh, you can understand the Git commands, how the developer is doing the Git commands or the QA team is doing the Git related operations, pool, merge related thing or the push, pull related commands or the adding the files, deleting the files, resolving the conflict. So that you can learn with the Git tool. You can also integrate that with the Jenkins tool uh, and automate that build and deployment cycle. So Jenkins is also uh, the very important tool for continuous integration and continuous deployment, which can be integrated with multiple tools. And based on that, we can automate our build and deployment cycle. So GitHub Action is also an alternative for the Jenkins, which is providing similar capabilities, but based on some advantage and disadvantage, you need to be find out like this tool is suitable for you. And then you can solve uh, those particular use cases. Also similar like the Docker, Jenkins, Linux, the other technologies are like Kubernetes is also the important thing and which is like uh, the popular thing right now, which is used by every, almost every organization. So that is also the prerequisite or mandatory thing like every DevOps engineer should know about. Also the cloud platform like AWS, Azure or GCP. So those are the primary cloud platforms uh, out there, which we should have idea about mm -hmm. those areas. Then another thing is like related to coding or uh, the code quality like SonarCube or other tools, which should have the idea, uh, which you can integrate with the DevOps related uh, integrations yeah. or the infrastructure. Also the JFrog, Nexus, and uh, other storage mechanism. So whenever you are building the binaries, that should be available with all engineers. So you can store it somewhere. So these are the repository manager, uh, I would say. So for the Python, Go, or Java application, all these tools are available in market. That can be like enterprise with open source, but based on the use cases, you can finalize those tools as well. And, integrate in your application. So this is something the DevOps uh, related tools and the integrations, correct? So the CI CD pipeline you can make as per your applications, integrate those particular build and deployment steps. So that is something uh, that happening in, with the every organizations and they are making their CI CD pipelines. So as a DevOps engineer, we should have idea about all these tools at least which tools we should learn about that I have covered with this video tutorial. Also, I have uploaded multiple technical sessions with the practical assignments in my YouTube channel. So you can go through with it. In case of any queries related to mock interviews or any technical guidance, feel free to connect with me. So with the every weekend now, I'm trying to upload the or share the new experience with the DevOps related technologies with you guys with this uh, YouTube related platform. So how we can, uh, what are the challenges we can face and how, how we can deal with that uh, in the DevOps related journey. So I'm going to talk about that more in next few videos. So yeah, so stay tuned, uh, happy learning. Thank you.